everyone. Puppies have moved. But I'm just about to make a few adjustments. Gotta take out the wet vet beds, number one. Um, but what I'm gonna do is from this gate here, I'm gonna put a separate pen for Aria so she can get away from them if she wants to. And then I'm gonna put another gate in this area for my access, although it might make more sense that Aria's pen is here and my access is there because there's more room here for a pen. But anyway, I'm gonna sort that out and then I'm gonna join you with the puppies. So, little area there set up and I decided to do this side because that, this gate's a bit stiffer, um, which is fine. Um, but yeah, the babies had their first night in here Helen and Sarah and set most of this up. So there's little, little toys. I think that's meant to attach to there. <laughs> Dad, shut up. But yeah, they settled in really well. They they cried for the first like five, ten minutes because they were somewhere different. But Aria was in there. And once she sat down to feed them, all was well in their little world. Um, but they can move around a lot more in here. It's a lot bigger. There's more toys in here. Um, they're going to start on their solids. As you could see from the wet puppy pads before I changed it, um, they are using puppy pads more and more. So that will continue to improve. He's going to poop. Um, so it just is easier this room to clean. We've got the rubber mat in. So it's really important that puppies aren't on a slippery surface. So if they kick the vet bed out of the way, uh, not the vet bed, the vet bed, the puppy pads out of the way, there's still a grippy surface. Aria's got her water, um, which is way too big for the puppies to reach anyway. Guys, can you please settle down? They get to see more of the other dogs in here as well. Um, which is nice. Um, and also for filming, this room has got two windows. So there's better lighting, better natural lighting. Um, even though it's a bit early, so I have got the, um, the lights on as well. Um, but yeah, you can see she's thinking of weeing. I'm going to just put her up there and just encourage her to wee on, on puppy pads. She is, look. So, you know, you get to learn the signs of um, when they need to go. And then you just adjust and move them accordingly. Dudley, you better not be. Get out. Dudley, out. One of the dogs made a rip in the sofa and he was plucking the stuff in it because he's naughty. What are you guys doing? Are you cute? Are you in a proper puppy pile? Oh, yeah, you might look like you make poop as well, missus. You look like you might be thinking about it. <laughs> So yeah, you know, there's still adjustments to be made. There's still things that need to go in here. I just realized that they've not put this through properly. I have to sort that out. Um, but yeah, I put blankets to just stop a bit of the draft. Lanny, no! Yeah, if they're naughty. <laughs> They're being destructive, disruptive. They either get moved out of the room or they get moved in a crate. It just doesn't get any time. He is a bit bored. They both are because the weather was bad and they didn't walk yesterday. But that's tough, like that's life. They didn't want to go yesterday because it was raining. So not much, not much that could have been done. Um, but yeah, there's a few things hanging. I think Alan's gonna 
adjust things around as we need to. Um, but yeah, they've settled in well in here and I'm quite excited to see how they cope with their first little meal. And you know, they're not, they're not eating food because Aria's struggling. They're not eating a meal because they're struggling. It just is a natural progression. And maybe it's too early and that's fine. I'll just keep giving them little tastes until they are ready. Much better the lighting is in here. Judith, you better not be doing that. You don't do that. <gasps> She's like, no, I'm just lying down on it, man. I'm just making a bed. So yeah, naughty dogs don't get air time in my house. Good girl, Aria. Are you a good girl? Yeah. You're the best girl, aren't you? So yeah, I had first night in like three weeks, maybe longer, in my own bed, um, not the sofa bed, and I just slept. And the dogs woke me up at half six, and while I was inwardly cursing them, like it was time for me to get up, unfortunately. I would have quite happily, could have quite happily spent longer in bed. But I have got things to do, like I had to sort out this pen, um, sort out the animals. Um, I need to go to the supermarket, but it's a Sunday, so I gotta wait till this open. Um, but yeah, I gotta walk the dogs. I gotta muck out. My wrist is bad, so I can't do as much as I wanted to do, um, as I need to do, I should say, no want, need, need, so, lots of little breaks, see the way he's just tasting, testing my hand, oh, oh you're so tired, you're so tired, yeah. <laughs> so nice. So nice. You guys are proper time wasters. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and that's a lush puppy pile in there. <laughs> right, I'm going to turn the heat lamp back on and I shall see you all soon. Bye.